we have to take our own advice because if we're willing to give wisdom and we're willing to give advice to someone that asks for it, we need to understand that that we have to take our own words to heart. And a lot of us have so much wisdom and so much advice to give, whether it's wanted or not. And I've met so many people that have such great perspectives and that I've learned from and that I'll continue learning from. And that's what some of it, of the messages I bring to you guys comes through. If I don't take my own words to heart, if I don't see what I'm saying and what pertains to my life, how am I going to give anybody else advice? How am I going to help anyone else if I don't help myself? So it, it's really interesting the transformation I'm going through at the moment um, internally. It's really being aware of that, being mindful of that. The next time I do react a certain way or I'm on auto, autopilot with doing something that really isn't a priority, I'm starting to step back and go, okay, wait a minute here. Why am I reacting this way? Why am I doing this? Is it because I'm being conditioned to do this? Is it because I'm? it's just automatic? It's a habit. Um, is it because I'm feeding into my own skin? insecurity it's basically just realigning your thought pattern and realizing you are enough regardless of what you're doing regardless of the goals you're achieving or what you're not achieving as long as you see that within yourself and then step forward keep going it's different for everyone and we all have our coping mechanisms but it's a matter of whether they're healthy or not and where we were being really honest with ourselves and realizing, okay, wait a minute here. If I can give out the advice, I can take it too.